If you are excited for Bengals football to be back like we are here at Chat Sports, then like the video right now. We are days away from the Bengals taking on the Browns to open up the NFL season. We will be live for that game, by the way. But like the video if, like me, you are hyped. Today we're taking a look at the Bengals depth chart. They've officially released their unofficial air quotes step chart uh, for week one against the Browns. Some teams have it more accurate than others, so do keep that in mind. I think there are a few questions about some of the more depth ordering that might have been answered uh, with, this, with this depth chart release. Remember the Bengals at the Browns Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Should be a good game. Should be a game the Bengals win. Let's break down then some key takeaways, and we'll go through all the ones we don't discuss at the end, by the way, to make sure we show you everything. Takeaway number one, Travion Williams is listed as RB2. To the surprise of literally no one, Joe Mixon is RB1. But who that second back was going to be, and I think still is, is not clear. Travion Williams, the plan entering camp preseason was he's going to be your RB2. He's going to be the guy. Then he got hurt. He didn't play at all in the preseason. He's only just now getting fully healthy. Williams has not had a chance to showcase what the Bengals believe he is capable of doing. Instead, it was, eh, to a lesser extent, Chase Brown. He might not play that much early on this season. But Chris Evans really impressed. And not just as a pass blocker, but also continued to show the pass-catching ability we have always known that he has had. I would not be shocked if, even in week one, Chris Evans outsnaps Travion Williams. Now, maybe in obvious, you know, past situations, they'll still give Williams the shot. That's been a big deal replacing Samaj P. Ryan, but Evans has done the best to take advantage of his situation. So let's say end of the year, and we'll base it on a snap count perspective, assuming Joe Mixon is healthy. Who is your RB2? TW for Travion Williams and that kind of more than I think the, 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 the third down back role. We'll call that RB, RB2. CE for Chris Evans. CB for Chase Brown. This is today's pinned comment. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and go vote. Takeaway number two, the offensive line shuffling. Not for the starters. Thankfully, the Bengals actually have a good starting offensive line. But I am very intrigued by the backups and where they were listed on the initial depth chart. Jackson Carmen over there on the right side. Uh, Deontay Smith on the left side. That's probably right. You could flip them pretty easily. I also don't know who's your third, third tackle. Maybe it is Deontay Smith as opposed to Jackson Carmen. It's the interior grouping that I'm most intrigued by, by the way. Trey Hill listed at center, which has been his spot before this year. But it was Max Sharping, Sharping who in reality, if you're maybe stacking them instead of, you know, horizontally stacking them vertically, he's your top backup on the interior of the offensive line. He played mostly center in the preseason. I think he has that job locked in. If you're playing Hill at center, listed spot, he, he's played plenty of guard too. I might put, I might flip Sharping and Ford still. Because Cody Ford did play some on the left side, but has played more on the right side, not just this preseason for the Bengals, but also over the course of his NFL career. He has predominantly been a right side player, even getting the occasional right tackle rep. So I would do some personal shuffling, but I think especially for the Bengals offensive line, it's probably less of a horizontal depth chart or a vertical depth chart sharpings your first backup on the interior then maybe maybe Ford Hill in that order I'm not not too sure hopefully we never find out because they never have to play today's show is made possible by our sportsbook partner bet us head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code chat 125 for 125 percent deposit bonus that's chatsports.com slash bet Promo code chat125, minimum 100 bucks down to get the deposit bonus. The Bengals are favored in week one, minus two and a half. We will see with Joe Burrow practicing today. Shocker, I know. If that line inches up more in favor of Cincinnati, if some more confident money comes in there. Over-unders, 47.5. Bet on the Bengals this week with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. Takeaway number three, Miles Murphy is a third stringer at defensive end. Trey Hendrickson, Sam Hubbard, no surprise here. They are listed as the starters. 
but it is Joseph Asai ahead of Cam Sample at the defensive ends or uh, uh, as DE3, Cam Sample as DE4, excuse me, and Murphy's listed as number five. Now, who knows if Asai plays week one? That is still very much up in the air at this stage. And perhaps this is the old, ah, the veteran is before the youngster on the depth chart that maybe isn't properly reflected in the way the snap counts are actually handed out. But Murphy wasn't that impressive in the preseason. You know, it's funny. If we had given Murphy the Raymond Johnson preseason stat line and performance, it would have been, oh, my God, Murphy's going to be a star. Instead, Johnson, who, unfortunately, went to the Lions, didn't make the 53-man roster. But level of investment, of course, matters pretty significantly there. So how many sacks do you think Miles Murphy will have this season? Sound off with your predictions for me in the comment section. Takeaway number four is on the return situation. I'm not sure it's surprising necessarily, but I do think it is noteworthy with where things currently sit. Uh, no surprises elsewhere on special teams, by the way. Evan McPherson's the kicker. Brad Robbins, the punter. Kyle Adam is the long snapper. Chris Evans is labeled as the kick returner, which he's done some in the past. And Charlie Jones, who, of course, was drafted to be at least the punt return man, he is going to be the PR guy and backup kick returner. Travion Williams is the third string kick returner. Trenton Irwin, the backup punt returner. So most may be expected, but I do think noteworthy to mention. I am very much cheating on number five because there wasn't that much that was surprising to me. Nickel is the base. When the Bengals put out their depth chart, they had two off-ball linebackers and three corners out there. That is how football is played in 2022. There are some that still get bent out of shape over 4-3, 3-4, oftentimes some of the more old-school journalists. That is not how it works anymore. You are in nickel. You have an extra DB out there for the vast majority of your snap. So I respect the Bengals formatting it that way as opposed to I saw some putting out two receivers and two corner depth charts. No, no, no. Three receivers, three corners. That's how football is played these days. If you have not already done so, make sure you guys are subscribed to us here at Bengals Breakdown. We will be live for the week one Bengals-Browns matchup, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you're subbed and don't miss out. Some other, the other depth charts I want to just kind of run through here one time quickly. Joe Burrow, Jake Browning, nothing shocking there. They are the top two guys. The NFL has changed their third quarterback rule. You can have a third quarterback if he's on your active roster, the 53, on your game day roster as well for free. He just can't play unless there's injuries. Will Greer is not on the Bengals' 53-man roster. He will not be called up. He will not be active as the freebie. They could always call him up and make him the third anyway, but that seems unlikely. So for now, it's Burrow Browning as the quarterback. So that could change in the near future, near-ish future. Wide receiver, as expected, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Trenton Irwin, Andre Yoshivas, Charlie Jones. You could ask 90, you could ask 100 people, how would you put the Bengals' depth chart? About 99 would put him just like this, so no surprises there. Same with defensive line, DJ Reader, BJ Hill, uh, Zachary Carter, J. Tufele, and Josh Puo also on that DT depth chart, so nothing too shocking there, kind of in the order. Tufele is your third string, but again, that was pretty damn expected. Prick the score for me of the Bengals against the Browns. I've got the Bengals winning. We'll have a preview for you uh, later in the week with a full prediction. But I want to hear from you guys first. Sound off in the comments section. Linebacker depth chart, depth chart once again. I don't know why I said depth chart. What is that? It's got a Boston accent. Uh, Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt, Marcus Bailey, Akeem Davis Gaither, and Joe Bocci. Maybe that's where the bocce kind of sounds a little bit Boston, even though it's Michigan State. As expected there, same two at corner. Chita Bay Wouzier, Cam Taylor Britt, Mike Hilton, DJ Turner, DJ Ivy, Jalen Davis. Uh, the Bengals roster, I think, was pretty well organized. Like, you had pretty clear obvious of like, ah, oh, there's not much debate, not much battles. So that fits for corner and for safety as well. Dax Hill, Nick Scott, Tyson Anderson, Jordan Battle. I'm not sure we're going to see that much three safety looks this year. It's not really the typical M.O. Uh, for Lou and Arumo, but eh, it should be fine defensively as long as your safeties aren't, you know, a massive downgrade from what you had last year. 
Remember, folks, make sure you are subscribed. Bengals Browns watch party coming at you guys 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. Half hour before kickoff. We'll be live right here on the channel. Do not miss out.